Hi, welcome back to Cooking with Drea. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Disney favorite, Ratatouille. Um, I know a lot of people are put off by it, just because it doesn't have meat or anything like that. Um, but I find it really satisfying, especially if you pair it with some garlic bread or pasta. Um, and it's not a very difficult recipe, it just takes a little bit of time to arrange your pieces nicely. Hope you enjoy, let me know in the comments what you think. So for my ratatouille today, I've chosen out a yellow bell pepper. I have a bit of a butternut squash that I used in my last recipe. I have some eggplant, uh, a zucchini, a small white onion, and a clove of garlic. So I'm going to start off by taking my onion and the garlic, and I'm going to dice those up pretty fine, and then I'm going to set them aside for a little bit. So now that we've chopped our onion and garlic, I'm going to start off by peeling my squash. Um, like I said, it's just a butternut squash. Um, and then I'm going to slice everything really thin so that I can make a nice design um, with my ratatouille. Alright, so now that we've got that um, completely peeled, I'm going to try to slice these as thin as possible. Um, now if I had a mandolin I'd use that, but unfortunately I don't, so I'm going to do it by hand. Alright, so now that I've got these all chopped, I'm going to put them aside in, on a plate and uh, chop up the rest of my veggies, kind of similarly, and then we'll get to, to making it all together. Okay, so now I'm going to take my tomato paste, and this one's 5.5 fluid ounces, and I'm just going to put that in the bottom of my dish, like so, and I'm going to spread that around. I'm going to take my garlic and onion from earlier and put that in. Go. I'm also going to season it with a bit of salt and pepper. Taking about a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm going to mix that all together until it's, you know, pretty evenly uh, distributed around the bottom of my dish. So here comes the time-consuming part of the task, and that's we're going to arrange uh, all our slices alternating, starting from the outermost edge and working, going inwards um, like a spiral. And you want to overlap them slightly so you have a nice array of colors. Um, around this time is when I'm going to start preheating my oven to 375 degrees um, so that it's preheated by the time I'm finished. All right, so I finished. That's my finished product. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna drizzle this with about two tablespoons of olive oil, um, season it with some salt and pepper, and I'm gonna sprinkle some thyme on there just for that little extra flavor. All right, so this is ready to go into our oven that's preheated at 375 degrees for about 45 minutes or until everything's tender. Um, and we'll get back to you about what it's like. Well, a little while later and it's out of the oven. I'm going to uh, plate this up. There we go. I've served mine with mascarpone cheese, but obviously that is uh, up to you. I think Parmesan would be really nice as well. Bon appetit.